What is going on, everybody? We are back on it. Hunter Hunter episode 139. I think at the beginning of last episode I said 139, but this is really 139, titled Eluka and Something. Got a lot of feedback um, in the last video. I think we had over like 100-something comments, and we rarely ever get that many comments. I'm not going to go through all of them because there's a lot, um, but they all kind of revolved around the same theme. A lot of you explaining to me that Eluka is a boy. That is either transitioning to a girl or identifies as a girl, however you would like to have it, but that all the siblings are boys, biologically. Um, and I think Kiluto, you guys also let me know that Kiluto is the youngest. And then just clarifications on Iluka's kind of uh, restrictions, conditions, kind of, you know, if you grant three of her request, um, she can grant you any wish. Now, I did have one of you bring up a good point as far as any wish goes. Is it really any wish? Because with the with the million dollars that she granted the butler, she didn't manifest money out of thin air. You know, she, whatever whatever the greater power was that made that blimp, you know, come over towards them and then release the money. Even they said the people on, on the blimp couldn't even explain what was happening, so... I wonder if it is actually any wish um, or kind of what the parameters or guidelines are on that. Because um, that's just kind of one of the examples we had. It looks like Miluki has... And then can you go to her for more than one wish? Because I saw the opening. We had like a 20 second cold opening with Ilumi explaining some things to Hisoka. Talking about he made it seem like Miluki had already put in a wish. Then the butler put in the wish. And then did Maluki go again after that? Or is the instance um, Ilumi was referring to, he said Miluki, you know, wanted a wish for some cheap toys. Um, and then the butler. But then we also saw Maluki at the beginning wishing for Aluka to kill somebody for him. Um, so I don't know if Maluki has put in multiple wishes. Either way, we know that, I guess... I don't know if we got clarification on this in the comment section. The more the more kind of grand and bigger the previous, the prior wish is, the next person that has to do the request for her will be more extreme. Now, could you somehow... I don't know if it's always a multiplier by like, you know, if, if this is wish 5, if this is wish 10, wish 20. As the more wishes she does, all of the requirements that she'll want will become more stricter or is it the grander the wish because i if if i can put in multiple wishes which it looks like kilua has before because he's had her pick him up high and toss him and all that stuff he knew how to get rid of it so it looks like you can go to her multiple times um i wonder kind of what the restrictions are on that because like say for gone like i wish for gone to make a full recovery come back to her. I wish for gone to get his Nen back. If that, if again, she can grant any wish. Um, because if that's the case, if I'm Kilua, like go to her and ask for, I, I don't know, a, a brand new puppy or you, you want to be lifted up high in the air again, you know, and then come right back and ask her for another. Since the previous wish she granted you wasn't that grand, will the next request for something you do want to be grand maybe be lessened? We'll kind of see how that goes. And I've had, it looks like we kind of have a back and forth, like, does she know how to use Nen or does she not? It, it, Silva said they had the daughter, but then he also said she's not from this world. So, like, I don't know how to take that as, like, if she's, I, I don't know, if she's an alien or just some other being or magical beast. And if so, how did it come across their possession? And we just need some clarification. We need clarification on what she is. And is she using Nen? A lot of you in the comment section said, no, she's not. And then a lot of you said, well, like, what do we really, it's never been clarified. Like, is she or is she not using Nen? Like, <clears throat> does she even know she is? And we had the example with um, Neon and Iluka here. If they were kind of aware, if you could train Iluka in Nen, if you could train Neon in Nen, could they then, you know, harness or kind of, take control of what their abilities are for the most part neons doesn't have any crazy drawback you know even if she never wants to do nen i mean her ability isn't something that needs to sacrifice a human life or something tragic to grant you know she just needs some information iluka here if she is using nen um and if she's an actual human if she could somehow 
be familiar with Nen, learn how to use it, could she reduce like everything that's happening and every wish that's granted people are dying and Illumi said there's been so many pairs of people that died and then after the million dollars was granted 67 or some people like that died, could she figure out how to get a better control of it or how to turn it on and off or if she was aware like I wonder like she's clearly older here does she know not to just come out and start asking things or does she know when people start asking her things can she like avoid the questions or avoid doing it or just don't request anything from anybody I wonder how aware she is of it and if she knows how kind of deadly her abilities is if she's human or if she's not um, and just a lot revolving around her what she is the consequences what she can do and all that kind of stuff and then we had a lot of comments on you know a lot of you were saying yes and no like you wish there were more fights but you like the story you like hunter hunter for what it is um there were just a lot of like a lot of hyped up abilities and people and a lot of hunter hunter to me at this point is more mystique than actual like you actually seeing the pen to paper and seeing people like display their abilities and what they could do. It's almost just a lot of headcan. Like you just think for yourself, like kind of thinking back to what a, what a Crollo and, and Zeno fight or Crollo and Silva fight used to look like when they fought before or how strong really is Ging. I could imagine what he could look like up against Netero, but you don't really know because you don't know. <laughs> um, so look, some, a lot of you were happy with the way Hunter Hunter is. You didn't want pointless kind of fights just to be your typical anime. Um, but I think we can all agree we'd still like to see a lot of that. Then I had another one of you make a pretty good comment. Maybe that's why Zeno and Silva and some of the others, or not some of the others, the people in the family, maybe never took the king and the ants that seriously. Because if it came down to it, they could just go to Aluka and I wish you to kill the king. I wish you to kill this ant for me. And poof. You know, it could just go like that. I wonder why not, why they don't use her for things like that. But maybe they never felt like it was a threat to them. So maybe if it got to their front door, like Miriam was taking over the world and they were holding out for as long as they could and he was at their front door, they would use her then. But maybe they don't, they don't like using her. It looks like they have a conscience as far as like, you know, um, well, I don't know if they have a conscience. You saw what Illumi did. He knew that Butler was going to die and it looks like the mom has sacrificed two three pairs but maybe they don't just want countless hundreds of deaths or maybe they don't know how catastrophic it'll be maybe they don't know if it'll be them that dies next um in some of the requests and wishes that are taken um and then i never ended up bringing this up but i saw can we agree that this has been the best opening just visually that black on white i mean that not that black on white that red on black is so clean in the opening um and just I just really like the character designs. I think it's been the best opening we've had. Um, at least got to be in the top two for sure. You guys let me know what you think about that as far as like this new opening that started a couple episodes ago. I think it's the best opening. I've always said I wish Hunter Hunter had different opening songs, but at this point you're kind of used to it 140 episodes later. Um, but yeah, this is, de in my opinion, this has definitely been the best um, opening. So let's go ahead and start it. We are... Two minutes and 28 seconds in on episode 139. You guys should be seeing this on Monday. And I'm actually recording this Friday, so I haven't gotten, haven't had the chance to go back and comment and respond to all your guys' comments, but I will do that before this video goes up. So this sometime this weekend, I'll get to everybody's comments that were left on episode um, 138. So let's go ahead and do it. We're two minutes and 28 seconds in, episode 139, Aluka and something pressing play right now. I wonder how she responds to Kilua too. Like, what's their relationship? What, why are we seeing it in this? What is this? That. <clears throat> that Maluki, can he even be trusted ever? Yeah, he can't be trusted. <clears throat> Ooh, there were multiple of them at one point. Uh-oh.
Oh god, he's gonna die. That was the wish. So he's gonna die either way, pretty much. <clears throat> and the art and animation has been crystal clear with these two. To the criteria, so do we know who dies? Perhaps there are different rules for when pairs die. Somebody died in the compound. Every butler in her class at the facility, oh god. Rung to death? Like a like a washcloth. Pretty much everybody you care about, every everybody she was close to. The animation with these two has been crispy. Okay, we're getting this thinking music again. I need to concentrate on what's being said. But her mother didn't die. Yeah, so why the person she loved the most didn't die when she refused? She just began to love somebody else? Yeah. Yeah. So at that moment, she loved that guy more <clears throat> we used her mm I mean, I'm loving all this Illumi stuff. <clears throat> you must pay with your life if you decline her. When the price is two lives, you and the person you love most will die. When more than two must be sacrificed, you and the person you love most will die. Followed by, in order, those you've spent the most time with. Okay. Okay, so after it goes with the first person you loved, it goes to people you spend the most time with recently. Oh, can you ha you can have somebody else fulfill the request and you could take the wish. We saw that with the butler going up the stairs and Kilua taking the wish. So wow, you really can. Huh. You really could get away with this unscathed. Dang, so if you play it smart, you really could get out of this without having to sacrifice anything. Have somebody else do the request, do you make the wish, or the other way around? Hmm. Because we saw that before, last episode.
Wait, he's saying he's going to fulfill the request after the fact. Yeah. Is Kilua going to die? Gone will die. It'll be gone. Yeah, gone's going to fail either way. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, so it'd be a wasted wish. <laughs> the whole family will die. He's, that's who he spent the most time with. Tens of thousands of lives. Wait, how, hmm. He's sweating. Never seen him. <laughs> so, they said the ones you spend the most time with. Gone is, I mean, Kilu has been gone for a long time. You would think the people that would be effective would be... Is that a request? Can you just fake die? Uh... Oh, wow. Yeah, just kill her on the spot. We don't know where he came from. But couldn't you say that it wouldn't be the Zoldic family that would die? It would be Knuckle, Shoot, Moral, some of the Ants, Ecalgo, instead of the family? But if he said tens of thousands, the people he spent the most time with after that are going to be his family. And we're back to this. They're, lo they're getting less and less turnout. Cluck. Wow. Why is he sparkling? She's the only one that's kind of like mentally keep up with them. I'm still waiting for the inner dialogue of his because I can't tell what he's doing. Why is she always on her laptop like this?
<laughs> so, like, what happened with this dude? Does he just tuck his head inside of his shirt, or, like, what? Like, he didn't really, like, die and be brought back. He just tucked his head, right? Yeah, that's what I figured. Has rules? It just needs to appear like you've... Has rules. I wonder if you just have to appear that it looks like you've done her request, but don't really have to. Like, she'd requested him to die. He could have declined. I mean, Luki calls me brother. So she knows when it's actually... He knows when it's actually a request and actually just her playing. So he doesn't have to completely follow through with the request. Like, he can pat her head, and it doesn't count towards anything. He can just do it. But if she said, Kilua, pat my head, then you've got to be like, oh, fuck, we're starting. I'd get out of there. I still want to know, like, do they interact with her? Do they feed her? Does she socialize with anybody? And where is she from? They have cameras in there. He says the other, the rest of the family members don't know the rules, so. They think it's three requests down. Oh, fuck. Silva, take it easy, bro. But it's not. I'm aware of five rules. When one of Aluki's requests is not fulfilled and a price is paid, the request difficulty is reset to one. Okay. That's the best time to make a wish to Iluka when it gets reset. So when she kills somebody because they decline, it resets. Once Iluka starts making requests to someone... He will never switch his request to someone different. Okay? That's why I always ensured that Iluka made a request to a butler before sending him to you. Okay, because if he did it to a butler and they reclined, he wouldn't. Okay, I'd guess that Kilua did the same thing. That's why Iluka has never made any request of you two. Because it always gets... It starts with somebody else and doesn't go to them. If the person fulfilling the request dies before finishing the job, it's considered a failure. Does it reset? And at least one more will die. But do the request reset if the person dies? If he doesn't know someone's name, Iluka can't make the request of them. Okay. The same person cannot make two wishes in a row, but you can make multiple wishes. He said in a row. But Kilua has made multiple wishes before. If he knew how to get rid of her face before. But then who fulfilled the wish between the ones that Kilua used to fulfill? Because Kilua was like, I know how to get rid of her face. And he made a wish. Was he the last one to do it? Or... Hmm. Who made the wish between... Who made the wish between... Kilua getting tossed up, something happened, and then Kilua getting tossed up again. can't take her out they think that he could make the wish at any time maybe that's why they're going to agree to yeah uh-huh yeah they can't but they don't know that he knows that none of the wishes have been fulfilled yep Mm-hmm. 
he's going to threaten him. Like, if you don't open this door, I'll wish for something that would hurt the family. She's like, you motherfucker. <laughs> now, that black aura, are they seeing that? Because he hasn't fulfilled any requests, so... How did he get the face? How did we get the face to show up? What did I miss? I thought he hadn't fulfilled any of the requests because she hadn't referred to him by name. And, you know, his ass is fucking pissed. Alright, do you value more him or, the, or, the, or your wife? <laughs> She's loving it. Yeah, like you can put a timer on the request and like, hey, don't do it. Huh. And he's he he has multiple wishes set up. Like Miluki said, as long as the wish isn't fulfilled, you can have multiple options. So either in 30 minutes, they think the mother is going to die, or Kilua is going to get a kiss on the cheek. I always wonder, though, why do they keep her locked away? Because they don't want other people accidentally making wishes and, you know, doing some wild shit. And he's referring to her as something. Oh, she has to touch Gone to put him back together. Which is what Kilua is saying here. Why do we keep seeing it through this damn TV screen? Is it to show that? Is that to let us know it's a flashback? We're looking at it through a different lens, or so? There's even bigger conditions on. Like Kilua really knows like the ins and outs of all this because he was the only one that spent time with her. So to fix something on some overhaul shit. She has to touch the thing she wants to fix. Yeah, she's fine. How did we how did we make that face though? I wonder. What did I miss? I don't think I missed anything. I don't think I missed anything. But um So he says he's going to save those two. I realize how he can save Gon. I wonder how he can save her, though, you know? How can she be saved? How can this not ever happen? Because I don't really know what what trips what trips her to start just to just requesting things from somebody. Like right there, she was requesting things, but she didn't refer to him by his name. She said brother. So does she know what she is and what she does? Because if that's the case, Kilu of all people could explain to her, hey, you're viewed as this. You do this, this, and this. The family's scared of you. you. Don't break her heart, but let her know, like, you've killed hundreds of people. And that's bad, and, like, we can't do those things. When, and again, I don't know if she's consciously aware of it, but say things, if you need to request things from somebody, if you need somebody to pat you on the head or give you some food or, you know, anything, um, don't refer to them by name. Just say you or something like that. Um, like, again, is that something she can control? Or if you come to her, how, like, sit, flip it on the flip side, if I'm Maluki and I want something, how do I get her to activate? Because, again, Maluki is her brother. 
how do I get her to call me by name? I mean, maybe Maluki could just say, hey, just refer to me by name. By name. Don't ever call me brother. And then, you know, you could trigger it like that. Um, but I wonder if there's a way to just, you know, make her do it or not do it, you know? Um, again, right there, did they see that face she had on the monitor? Um, or was that just supposed to be made for us viewer wise? I feel like they needed to see the face on the monitor so they know, like, oh, shit, this is real. Um, how did how did we get that face, though? Because like Kilua said... She has to refer to you by name for her request to kick in, you know, to start. As long as she doesn't refer to him by name, he can do all these things, but he's not really, he's not fulfilling what needs to be done to make a wish. So they thought, just like Silva said to Maluki, hey, are you fucking with me? Like, is, what are the rules? Say it to me again. Um, they're under the impression that if you fulfill any of her requests, the chain has been started, and now Kilua has his wish. Um, but Kilua said that's not so. But then, how did they make her face appear on that monitor for them to be like, "Oh shit, this is really happening"? I don't know, or maybe I missed something. Um, maybe he fulfilled something that I just didn't see, and those were real requests right there. Like, "Hey, kill my mom or kiss me on the cheek," and that's how her face popped up. Um, and then maybe he's just going to just reset the chain of reaction again when he gets there. So when she's, so look, I mean, there's a lot of interesting parts to her. I don't even know if we're calling it an ability, but of what she can do. Um, he said if she has to fix something. So I'm guessing if some, like, I'm sure a lot of people would want to request, hey, bring my lover back. Can, can she bring people back from the dead? I mean, again, we don't know what bounds or restrictions her her ability has, but I need you to heal my sick husband or my child is dying. That kind of stuff. Kilua made it seem like she had to be in physical contact with the thing that was sick or broken or dying to bring it back. Um, which that kind of sucks because she can do everything else, but like if you think that's a wish that probably a lot of people want, you're never going to get her off that property unless you happen to be Kilua. Um... So it could just be a lot to deal with. But I don't think I missed anything, but maybe I did. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure Kilua, knowing all the tricks he knows, who knows what he could have put on her face and all that kind of stuff. He had her sitting down there in his lap. You don't know what he could have done to her face to make it look like that. But if that if he really did trigger the reactions and she was set up to make to grant a wish, I don't know where I missed it in there. Um, and then so Miluki made the statement that if you don't fulfill her request after the punishment has been laid out, so after she's killed you and the person you love the most, and maybe even... Well, here's the thing, though. When you deny, it's just you and the person you love most that die, right? It doesn't spread to tens of thousands of people like Illumi was saying. If you just decline or you don't fulfill um, you and the person you love most die, or does it sprinkle off to the people you spent the most time with? I'm not sure on that. But say it's just the one for one, just the pair. The, the the intensity of the request reset. So <laughs> what would be great is you just get someone to fail the request and then you get to do easy things like giving her a handshake, passing her a glass of water, giving her a piggyback, and then you can make whatever wish you want because the person before you failed. And then as they kind of stack, it just multiplies and multiplies and multiplies. So the best thing would be to have somebody fail so you don't give up so much. But when's the last time her her database was reset um, as far as that. I don't know. And I guess when does she... Kilua says he's going to save her, so I don't know if he makes her aware of, aware of what she is and what she can do and how to control it or not do it. Um, but then how are you going to be, you know... Not a coward, but what's the word? He, Kilua is almost contradicting himself because, you know, he gets to use her power for a wish that he wants, but nobody else gets to type thing. Um, but it's interesting. Again, just all her abilities. The Periston stuff, I can't even really wrap my head around or get into because it's so quick. Like, you're trying to absor absorb all of this. The Periston stuff, the back and forth with whatever. I haven't even really been paying attention. Like, the only the only mouse girl or dog or whatever she is, she's the only one that's kind of been, like, mentally trying to keep up with what Periston's been doing. Everybody else is just screaming or they don't really care. 
And you know, he just keeps like making suggestions like, let's do this for the voters or let's not do this or take the licenses away. Like none of that even, it just seems like a lot of bullshit to me to even want to even pay attention to it. Like what he's saying or like the voter turnout he's trying to get or take the licenses away, suspend them, not suspend them. Does it even matter at this point? Probably not. I think when all this comes down to it, I don't know if Ging somehow puts something in place or he comes back onto the screen to one up Periston and Periston not think or calculate something and it ends up I don't I don't know who's gonna end up becoming the, the chairman. Maybe it does become Periston. Um but I feel like he seems too sure of himself to not fall flat on his face by the time this is over. Um I don't think he'll die. I mean maybe he is he will die, who knows. But who will take it? I mean the only likely candidate because we only have 11 episodes left or a little bit less um or nine or so to build up another viable candidate well i mean does it really even matter though who who cares like who ends up being the chairman as far as like in the story it doesn't like what it will come down to who really knows i think we would like to see ging become chairman but it looks like he has no interest in that so whoever becomes chairman is who becomes chairman whoever like if it's not periston I don't think it's really going to matter. I'm sure they'll all do an equally okay job. What the job of chairman really even entails besides, like, you know, if you're called upon for a crisis like they just had, you know, assemble what you can, do what you can. But it's not like they're making worldwide decisions, like they're voting for the next president or something like that. So we'll see if it really even matters who ends up becoming chairman other than seeing the back and forth and, like, who Periston is and who can mentally go back and forth with him. Um... But yeah, right now we're just all in this Iluka stuff. And he's referring to her as something. I forget, why did he say that, though? Let me scroll back real quick. <laughs> the mom's loving that shit, too, by the way. Like, wow, he's cutthroat. As long as only one, as long as only one wish is granted, you can give yourself... And now what did he mean by that? I mean, Luke, said, as long as only one wish is granted, you can give yourself options. How, what do you mean one wish is granted, you can give yourself options? I wasn't sure I read that right. I thought what I read was, as long as you don't grant your wish, you can give yourself options. But he said, no, as long as one wish is granted, you can give yourself options. Meaning one of... Luca's wishes are granted you can give yourself options I'm sure you guys will clarify that and he ends up opening the door did he say he's not going to refer to her by that name anymore though I didn't even think Silva cared for her or the family, to tell you the truth. <clears throat> and there she goes. Interesting. Where's the part where he was referring to her as something? Yeah. I'm going to watch this part back real quick. Now, there's no way the butlers let him leave, right? Well, he said if they hadn't left the mountain. I, the butlers, are they on the mountain where they live? Is that still part of the mountain? Yeah, he doesn't know about the... Hmm. I wanted to see why he denounced her name. You said a Luca was something that came from somewhere else. I called the black eye a Luca something. Oh, so when she's not in that, when she's in that state, that's why he refers to her as something. Kilu has got to be something as he's referring to her. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. So maybe that's part of like the trick. 
he says, I refer to the black-eyed Aluka as something. Then he goes ahead and refers to her as something. She turns around and she has the face, but how the hell does she have that face? I don't know, is what we need to find out. Um, but can we just take... Kilua's gotta be voted best boy of the entire anime, no? Is he the best character of the entire anime? I don't know, man. He's been with us from beginning all the way to the end. That's why it's, I feel like it's easy to put him up there. You can put Miriam up there, but we didn't get as much of experience. I mean, we got a lot with Miriam, don't get me wrong, but Kilu has been there from the beginning all the way to the end, and he's had his moments all the way throughout. Um, he, he's got to be up there for one of the best characters, no? I feel like. Um, but yeah, we'll just leave that there again. Let me know what you think about the openings. Again, I think that's one of the best openings. I think it is the best opening that we've had. Just the color scheme and the shots. I think it looks great. It's up there. I think my second favorite one is the Phantom Troop one, when you kind of see kind of all of them getting their solo shots. I forget which opening that is. Um, more about Aluka's abilities and kind of the restrictions on it and if she can become aware of it. Is she human? I, you know, the verdict is still out, at least for me, because I'm not sure yet. Um... And we have nine episodes left. This week, you guys, on Wednesday, we'll be seeing 140. Friday, 141. And we, we're getting there. We're really getting there. We're coming down to the end. Wow. I remember when we were starting this, and that's that's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. It's been over a year. I think we've been trugging along uh, with Hunter Hunter for over a year. The fact that it's coming close to an end is wild. Um, but we'll leave it there. Appreciate if you guys could subscribe. We're trying to hit 6,000 subscribers this year. I think we're less than 200 away. You know, we're getting there. We're chugging along. Um, tomorrow, um, YouTube, you guys will be getting Code Geass. I think we're on episode 20 of season 2 or 21. Patreon, you guys will be getting um, Full Metal episode 3. And then episode 4 will be on Thursday. And then YouTube, if you're just here for Hunter Hunter, I'll catch you back Wednesday at noon for episode 140 so like share favorite subscribe appreciate all the supports the comments everything's been great on the hunter hunter video so i really appreciate it and as always